So in this tutorial we're gonna build a beautiful coffee a splash screen with uh, Swift and Swift UI and Lottie files. So in this tutorial you're gonna learn about the animation, how to build a splash screen with Swift and Swift UI, how to integrate the Lottie files in your uh, application, iOS application, and you, uh, you can build after watching this tutorial you can build a beautiful splash screen based on your needs uh, in uh, for your app and yep here it goes so don't worry about the code and the assets i will put a link in the description to my github repository this is it let me just show you the app um, and uh, show uh, we're gonna showcase the app and I will tell you what is the Lottie file and so on and so forth. So don't worry about anything. This is beginner, totally beginner friendly tutorial for Swift and Swift UI and here it goes. This is my channel, Puyas with Dev. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and share this, with, uh, share this video with your friends. Hit the bell for the notification and check my Swift UI to, uh, playlist on my channel. Uh, you can find great stuff right there. So here it goes. This is our app with a beautiful splash screen, our coffee, and yep. Here it goes. We have a smooth animation. We have beautiful uh, Lottie file and we're gonna use it. Uh, we, uh, we're gonna use custom colors and yep this is beginner friendly so if you're interested in swift and swift ui if you are personalized if you want to personalize your app <coughs> don't uh, miss this episode and those don't miss this tutorial or if you are a master in swift and swift ui or a mid journal in swift and swift ui you don't want to miss this tutorial also so it goes so if you don't familiar with Lottie files let me just open my browser here and yep let me just sh uh, show you the what is the Lottie files stand for so Lottie files is a SVG animation that uh, uh, exported in a JSON that you can use in different area you can use in your website you can use it in within your app and so on and so forth you can uh, also download the SDK for your react app your Swift app and so on or flutter app yep anything you want so here uh, you can also see different Lottie files and you can download it here uh, for free and you can integrate it uh, within your app so and you can customize it as you want so here it goes so let me just uh, open my Xcode and uh, comment shift and N for a new project here and let me just show you how to build a new project here so I want to build a new project in my Xcode so I uh, check the iOS and then the app and yep coffee splash screen app and next here and create so good and we wait to Xcode uh, let me just uh, Close this one. Yep. Good. And here it goes. I just will wait for the Xcode to uh, load the canvas. And here, yeah, have like 15 Pro. So we have some assets here. Uh, let me just copy and paste this. And these assets. And here we have two assets. Let me just copy it. So the first one is the color that we want to use here. Let me just show you. Uh, let me just go to full screen mode and let me just minimize it. So we have a uh, brown kind of brown shade color <coughs> for our coffee. Here we have the coffee color and we have a coffee pick here. And also we have to create a new group in our root project. So 
uh, comment option and in uh, naming Lottie here and here we have the JSON file for our coffee splash here let me just grab it here right there and let, yep uh, copy items if needed yep create group here yep and add it to target uh, this one our app so here it goes we have the json file so it is uh, not readable but this is our json file uh, this, this is our SV, animated svg that we want to use in our uh, app so here we want another group so you can just right click in your root and select new group here or you can just uh, use the shortcut that I use so command option and N and naming the view so here we want to create a new Swift file so command and N and Swift and uh, select the Swift file or you can right click and new file here so here Swift file and naming the Lottie view this is a uh, this view is gonna wrap the UI kit with UI kit our JSON file that uh, that we want to show in our splash screen. So, and uh, for that purpose, we want to add a dependency here. So, file here. I go to here file and add package dependency. So. As I mentioned earlier, Lati for iOS, you can uh, check it, the uh, GitHub repository for that. Let me just open my browser here. This is the repository for the Lati file. As you can see, you can uh, you have multiple choice to use these uh, animation here in your app so here uh, how can you add it to uh, your project uh, it has some documentation here that you can use uh, you can see and it has the you can uh, create your custom Lati file with After Effects and uh, it, it uh, the documentation is so well I will put a link in the description for it uh, it has Android, uh, iOS, React Native, Web, Windows, and so on and so forth. And other platform, you can see Xamarin, and Python, and Flutter, yep. Vue, Angular, Polymer, Windows, yep. That's that. It is so good. So, for adding a package to your uh, Xcode project, you can just grab the GitHub link and paste it here. So this is the Lati iOS. I hit the add package. It's just gonna take a while to add it to our project. Uh, we, we, we want to wait. We have to wait until it's added. And come on. We have to wait again. So, if you want to, for example, I want the coffee here. I want to show you. I search for the coffee, and here we have our animation here. But you can use also this one, or this one, or something else. Or if I search for loading here. And here we have you. Ha uh, you can see some nice loadings that you can use within your apps uh, with this file that we want to uh, be creating after verifying the Lati iOS. I don't know what's going on here. Yep, uh, it uh, fetch us. It fetch for us, and you can add target here. I. Uh, select our app and then add package here it is added so for our lottie view uh 
listen closely because you can use this Lottie View wrapper within your app based on your needs wherever you want. So here we import safety UI instead of foundation and import Lottie here. So Lottie and then we have a strike for Lottie view and then this is confirmed to UI representable uh, UI view representable yep UI view representable here you have a type alias of UI view type to UI view and here we have a variable file name file name so string this variable is make sure that you can uh, reuse this component wherever you want <coughs> so this is a string type and here uh, we have to make our uh, UI so we have to, to use make UI view here instead of context we have UI representable context UI view sorry about that UI view representable context and um, we have to pass the Lottie view here so this is good and we have to define our view so let's view equal to UI view type and uh, nope UI view UI view frame and the frame would be dot zero so we have to define our animation view that is going to be the Lottie file and use the Lottie animation view. So let animation view equal to Lottie uh, animation. What's going on here? Lottie animation view here. And here we have to say named that uh, let me just see Lati animation view yep Lati animation view just the, this one so this is our animation view and we have to define our animation that is the uh, uh, JSON file so let's animation equal to Lati animation dot named and this is going to be file name so we pass the file name to the animation that's gonna use the, our Lottie file here, our JSON file here to show the animation. So we're gonna relate the animation and the animation view. So we say the animation view dot animation equal to animation. So the animation of the animation view equals to animation. So this is a lot of animation. <laughs> Yep, uh, I hope you don't get confused. So here we're gonna uh, set the animation view dot content mode equal to dot scale to fit, at the scale aspect fit, and then we're gonna play the animation. So animation view dot play, and then we're gonna again animation view dot play, and here. We have to uh, specify something so to progress here to one so uh, the <coughs> sorry about that the first frame is be is gonna be zero and the last frame is gonna be one so we're gonna uh, make sure that is going uh, until the end so to progress one and we have the loop mode so Lottie loop mode dot repeat and we're gonna repeat it 10 times and here you can specify some completion here and it uh, returns a boolean so you can set is finished and and you can uh, use is finished uh, whether you uh, if you want to invoke a function if you want to <coughs> pass to another page or something else I just print something here, so animation. Uh, let me just use if condition. So if is finished, then I want to print animation completed. Uh, 
else we're gonna print animation cancelled <coughs> so this is it and we're gonna use the animation that trans let me just see translate animation view sorry about that dot translate authorizing mask into constraint so this is a boolean value that determines whether the view authorizing mask is translated into auto layout constraint so we're gonna uh, make sure uh, that the uh, uh, auto layout constraint we're gonna set manually the layout constraint so we're gonna make sure that is equal to false and then uh, we have to add our uh, animation view to our view so view dot add sub view and then we're gonna pass the animation view this is it and here we have to con uh, I'll, uh, make the layout constraint so ns layout constraint dot active so here we're gonna pass a layout uh, an array that has two member, two index, one for width and the second for the height. So here we have the animation view that uh, width anchor that constraint equal to view dot width anchor and then the animation view dot height anchor dot constraint equal to width view dot height constraint height anchor so this is gonna uh, make sure that the height anchor and the width anchor of our animation view is set to <coughs> uh, width anchor and height anchor to our view our main view so after that we're gonna return the view and here we have to specify an empty function update ui view this is an empty function so remember that that we're gonna use the ui view representable context and lottie view for the context type so this is it this is our ui kid wrapper for our lottie view that we're gonna use in our swift ui view so uh you can use it in your other project any other project you want and you can use it for any other uh lati animation that you download and yep just uh you can uh play with this one so you can play it around that's uh fine with uh but actually uh, almost everything else is gonna be the same so here it goes let me just go to our content view content view yep so here we have a new variable so add state add state private variable for is splash screen equal to true after that you don't need this one we want the z stack here and here we have group and here we're gonna say if is a splash screen then show a view else show another view here and the after that in our group we have a modifier that on appear make sure that we gonna uh, start a timer that gonna last for two seconds that shows the animation and then is gonna uh, uh, make the is a splash screen valuable equal to false so here we have a dispatch dispatch dot main dot async after and for the deadline we have dot now plus three and for the execute one we have to say is a splash screen called to false so oh let me just 
so if I say it here so color dot I don't know green but ignore safe area and then here we have color dot blue dot ignore safe area and then I think we are gonna yep after a few seconds after three seconds uh, let's say with animation here to move it slowly and smoothly and you can see this is kind of work so here it goes and here we want a new strike for our splash screen so here uh, after the uh, strike content uh, strike of content view we have to specify a new strike name splash screen so this is it confirm to view type and here we have a Z stack and in our Z stack we have a color dot white and dot ignore safe area and then we have a lottie view here and for the file name we have to pass our file name here for lottie here coffee splash so we have to pass coffee splash here it goes and uh, let me just replace it with this green color so we have the splash screen yep as you can see this is good so we have to say an offset for the y minus 50 here good and yep, here it goes so here for the else we have the main our main let me just show you yep this is our main view that has uh, three parts here this one uh, the image and the text for the coffee and here the uh, login part that you can show the details or show the logging <coughs> information here that you can use a text field or a text and here we have a button here so here we have to make our main view so extract main view and this is a view type so we have a zero stack i think let me just check yep we have a zero stack and let me just uh clear this up and we have a main view here and uh, for now I, I want to set this is a splash screen to false but for the final app you have to make it to true because I don't want to see every time that I uh, want to see my code in canvas every time that shows a splash screen and after that show the main screen I want to see the main screen right away and uh, if we uh, we do this to false it is not uh, never is gonna be true so this code is never run and this uh, this uh, the xcode just run the main view so here in our main view we have two uh, variable to stat stage private variable is change offset offset yep also false and add state private variable is change opacity equal to false also so this is our variables uh, uh, soon i will tell you what is gonna do what uh, them do so here you know just like we have color that white that ignore safe area for our background then we have to create our login part so here we have a new struct login part and this is type of view thing and for our login part we have just is change offset here and at state private variable is change offset equal to false i misspell the change here change yep equal to false 
And here we have a Z stack. So let me just add the login part to our main view. So this is our login part. And I want to create a login part here. So here in our ZS stack, we have a rectangle. Uh, let me just, before all that, this is our login part. Here, find the best cafe, cafe for you. And here we have some text, we have some rectangle here. And we have the, uh, our, you, we use our coffee uh, color here and let me just show you this is this kind of have an animation here so uh, here we have a transition animation a slide transition from bottom to top so we have a rectangle and we have a four ground style and here we have a color and we say coffee here Yep, here we have it. After that, we have a rounded rectangle with a corner radius of 30, 35. Then we have to go to foreground style and we say dot white. And here we have the offset y minus a. So here it goes. After that, we have a z stack. And here we have a text that is gonna be defined the best coffee for you. Yep. And here we're gonna use the font.system and the size will be 35. And the font weight would be dot semi bold, and the foreground style would be dot white, and we have the multi text alignment dot leading, and here we have to frame it so width I think equal to 350, and height would be 200. And after that we have to offset it so here x would be minus 5 and y would be minus 290 so here it goes and after that I have a text that I want to copy and paste this this is lorem epsom here it and again the font would be dot title 2 before font weight would be that regular and the foreground style would be that white and uh, this is this one has or the opacity is 0 0.8 and uh, yep here it goes and we have again frame it with 300 350 and height 200 and here we have offset just y minus 170 and after that we have that padding here so here it goes and here we have it so uh we have to create the ui at the bottom here so here we have a new strike this is just the view this is not functional so here we have the custom button here this is a view type so here in our custom button here we have button then for the label we have a z stack here and z stack we have a, uh, let me just add it to this one to see it so custom button here yep here we have a circle and we have the foreground style that clear that clear and we have to frame it with 85 and height again 85 and here we have overlay and in the content we have a circle 
in the stroke uh, stroke and we have the white that white and the line width a bit here it goes and then you know we want a chevron here so here we have image and this is the system name chevron that right yep and this is a resizable image so we have a frame it width would be 25 and height would be 35 and we have a foreground style that white and then we have to say the offset and x3 yep and for the bottom we have the offset of x120 and y would be minus 50. this is good <coughs> So here we have the custom button. After that, we have to say that offset. And for the Y is change offset, then would be 400, else would be 700. So this is gonna uh, make the, uh, let me just add it 80. So this is uh, gonna make that a uh, slight transition for us. So. We have the offset, offset is equal to false here. So this is the offset is gonna be 80. And then uh, we gonna animated that. So animation and the animation value. So this is the easing out and duration will be dot one. And the value will be is change offset. Then here, when this is appear, we're gonna make the trans slide transition. So here we have to say on appear, and in on appear we have to say width. Uh, this is the is change offset dot type. So great, we have the perfect. Uh, we have the perfect slide transition. Here it goes. This is our login part. So good. And let me just go to the next one. So we just want to make this cafe and the image. <coughs> let me just show you again how this is gonna animate it. So here. And yep, this image has a transition, but the cafe has an opacity transition. So here we have a lot in the login part uh, after that we have a z stack here so here we have a text for cafe yep the second one so here we have a font and here we want to make it big so i take a 70 so here yeah, that font weight would be dot light good and the foreground style would be dot coffee yep we can use this nice instead of uh, color and then open braces and then here we say coffee you can just clear this one and set dot Coffee. this is uh, much better and much cleaner so here we have that uh, frame it with again with 250 and high 20 uh, 200 say about that and we have to offset it so offset y minus 100 good here it goes and here we have rectangle That foreground style would be the white. Then we have to frame it with 350 and height 20, 200. And here we have the opacity of it. So, is uh, change opacity, then 
would be zero, else would be one. It's gonna, uh, this is gonna make sure our cafe, uh, our text with the cafe uh, has the transition, uh, op opacity of transition. Uh, so here as the text, we have to say offset y minus 100 yep we don't see anything and then again we have the animation and the value so is in out is in out this is hard coded but uh this is still useful so duration three and is change opacity and here we have to again set dot on appear. Sorry about that. On appear. And we're gonna use is change opacity dot type. Here it goes. We have it. Good. And after that, we have just the image here. So image. We want our image here, so this is, let me just show, this is our image that has a slight transition, so let me just show you, yep, here we have a slight transition, image, and we are going to use coffee pick, here this is our coffee pick, so in our content view, coffee pick, and this is a resizable and we have to frame it uh, I uh, try it so this the best one is 294 and height again 294 this is good <coughs> and dot offset uh, 12.5 and uh, the y we have just the uh, uh, we have the slight transition in just the y axis, so the y would be is change offset, then would be minus two hundred forty, else would be seven. And yep, this is x. Good. Again, we have the animation and the value. So is in out and one and the value is change offset here uh what's going on equitable has no change offset uh sorry about that it is not dot it just is change offset and then we have on appear on appear and we have the is change offset dot type so this is good this is good so this is our app uh here it goes note that uh, make the is a splash screen to true and i think we are good to go yep nice so this is so nice so smooth so I just want to run it, so I press Command and R to build it for us. <laughs> In the meantime, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share this video with your friends and your uh, fellow programmers who, who is interested in SAFE. Feel free to uh, write down in the comment section if you have any opinion, if you have any suggestion, if you have any comments about this video and don't forget to check my uh, 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 Swift UI playlist in my channel. So this is good. Animation cancelled. Why that's gonna take us. So let me just see what is going on. Animation can sold. Yep. Let me just spell that. So let me just rerun it and make it this bigger. So here it goes. Is finished. Yep. Animation cancelled. What is going on? I don't know. Uh, I think because of this. Repeat. 
one or we can use it uh, I don't know let me just see if it's going to work or not again animation cancel uh, so this is it we have a beautiful uh, splash screen here uh, I hope you learn a lot from it so don't miss this uh, Swift UI playlist that I make made for you on my channel and until the next one hit the subscribe button hit the bell for the notification to don't miss out the next one so until the next one practice until you make it and take care and be safe bye bye guys